Welcome, I am here to present the many awesome capabilities of the protein. Activation induced cytosine deaminase, aka AID. It is a hydrolase that deaminates the cytosine base in DNA and replaces it with a uracil, creating a UG mismatch. This occurs through hydrolytic removal of the amino group at the fourth position of the pyrimidine ring of cytidine. This mutation is either processed as a point mutation in somatic hypermutation, SMH, a process by which mutations are accumulated in the variable regions of the heavy and light chains and antibodies of B cells. Or as double strand breaks in class switch recombination, CSR, a biological mechanism that results in a change of B cell production from one antibody to another, IgM to IgG, for example. AID can exist as a homodiomultimeric complex. The structure being analyzed is multimeric with interacting dimers composed of alpha and beta chains. AID has a number of functional regions. Among these are the catalytic domain, an APOBC-like domain, which is a family of other cytidine deaminases that AID belongs to, regions for dimerization and tetramization, a region specifically required for CSR in the C-terminus and another required for SMH in the N-terminus. The C terminus is rich in leucine and hydrophobic phenylalanine residues that stabilize the dimeric structure required for CSR. Mutations in the C and N terminals can inhibit CSR and SMH activity and lead to a condition called IgM syndrome that results in a deficiency in immunoglobulins G, A, and E. In the active site where DNA overhangs bind, a zinc ion is coordinated through binding with a histidine and two cysteines. The zinc ion acts as a cofactor and activates a water molecule to form a hydroxide ion. The hydroxide then performs a nucleophilic attack on cytidine while glutamate acts as a proton donor, converting the cytidine to uridine. It is extremely important in the immune system by helping to reduce antibody diversity and fighting off a wide range of pathogens. However, there is still a lot we don't know about this protein. Since its discovery in 2000, numerous strides have been made to understand AIDS function and structure. AIDS specifically targets the genes of heavy and light chains in the immunoglobulin loci on chromosomes 2, 14, and 22 in humans, but can affect mutagenesis of highly transcribed genes in cells that are not affiliated with B cell functionality. Unregulated expression of AID can lead to a variety of conditions such as allergies, inflammation, autoimmune diseases, and cancers like B cell lymphoma. In particular, B-cell non-Hodgkin lymphoma, NHL, a common class of cancers diagnosed in people with HIV and AIDS. The disease is thought to arise in errors with class-switch recombination and somatic hypermutation from overactivation of B-cells that induce AID expression. HIV hijacks the immune system to induce AID gene expression using the CD40 ligand, a commonly expressed molecule in T-cells and other non-immune cells during inflammation. In adaptive immunity, helper T cells bind the CD40 ligand to the CD40 receptor on B cells to activate them, which promotes proliferation and other functionalities. Free floating antigens may also bind to antibodies on B cells. Similar to GLUT4 receptors and insulin interactions in liver cells, B cells can have CD40 ligand packed in vesicles in the cell cytoplasm and are able to transport the ligand to their cell surface within four hours of exposure to antigens. It is generally unknown what the exact role of CD40 ligand is in B cells, but is theorized to play a part in B cell activation and survival. HIV binds the CD40 ligand on their surface to the CD40 receptors of B cells to activate them like T cells would and express aid. Overexpression can lead to the production of non-functional antibodies and introduce mutations in a variety of other genes unassociated with immunoglobulin production thereby weakening the immune system and risking the possibility of creating malignant B cells. On the bright side, slightly, treatment of NHL in patients with HIV includes chemotherapy, clone antibodies, and antiretroviral treatments. Getting tested for HIV and getting treated for the disease are proactive steps for preventing and or managing NHL. In summary, the A protein works by specifically targeting cytidine to create DNA lesions. These mutations are extremely important for helping to produce antibody diversity in an attempt to fight off a wide range of pathogens. In addition, unregulated expression of AID can impact a multitude of biological pathways in B cells and other cells and can result in cancer and or a weakened immune system. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a bit about my protein.